Montana Love loses and loses his secondary belt. Eddie Hearn's foray into American boxing not looking so good. Here is my review. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I am back with some more boxing. Now, I did catch the Montana Love fight. And you guys see right here, you guys got to follow me at Boxing Ego. I said Montana Love is cut. So a clash of heads opened up a cut and Montana Love was bleeding. In the second round, he got dropped. He got hit and he looked a bit chinny, you know, to be honest. But he was getting beat by a guy like I really never even heard of this dude. So his opponent, Steve Spark, never really heard of him, but he was winning. I thought he was doing good in the fight, dropped Montana Love. This also was a hometown Ohio fight, like a Cleveland fight or whatever, where Montana Love is from. And after that cut, it looked like he was looking for a way out. And that's what I said on my tweets. I give you guys some of the round by rounds. Now, Igor Stradamus strikes again. I said Montana Love is looking for a way out. And... I firmly believe that, especially seeing how it played out. So when he got cut, the doctors called him into the corner and went to look at him. And ultimately, spoiler alert, the fight ended in a disqualification, which I'll explain how we got there. But the doctor went to look at him and he was like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready to rumble. But he was talking to the doctor for an extended period of time. And I was like, that's weird. And then he literally said to the doctor that he can't see nothing he can't see nothing the doctor was asking if he wanted to continue and he said he can't see so i said on my twitter i said montana love wanted a way out he said he was good and wanted to rumble but then he kept talking to the doctor lol any fighter who knows what that doctor any fighter knows what that doctor's talk means love even said quote i can't see nothing i can't see nothing and then he, the guy was like, well, I don't know if I should stop it. And he was like, it's up to you if you want to stop it. So, I mean, these are implications. We all know what that means. The doctor's seeing if you're fit to continue. Now, one is weird because the doctor, I, I don't know. I, I can't say nothing about the Cleveland Commission or whatever because I don't really know them. But in California or New York, probably even in sack in vegas if you do that the fight gets stopped immediately because if you don't sound like a willing participant they're not going to put you back in there with your opponent period and the way he was acting finicky and acting like he didn't know if he wanted to continue and saying he couldn't see in new york especially that fight will get canceled but this referee for whatever reason was open to him going back out because he was like no nah, i'm good so it was like he was non-committal in actually saying i can't see call the fight and then the doctor was on the fence so they between the two of them really got nowhere and then it was just decided to allow the fight to continue so it was just a very weird and bizarre ending now based on the round that it was in the steve spark dude came out guns blazing he came out guns blazing because he knew that he was in the lead and he had the knockdown so he was trying to stop the man because you know in case the fight didn't if in case the fight got stopped because he he's seen i'm sure that montana love was looking for a way out so steve spark he came out guns blazing trying to get him out of there just in case it's so no funny business and then montana love like used his forearms and like mushed him and rushed him to the the edge to the point where he's all the way backed up against the ropes and was using his forearm the ref sees this tension and tries to break it up and then despite the ref being right there montana love continues to push and push and use his energy to put steve spark over and then steve spark end up doing like a, a backflip off of the ropes and then he landed outside and then he ran back up the stairs to get back in the ring because when a fighter gets ejected from the ring this is not wwe so even though montana love did a wwe move you only got like a certain amount of time i think 20 seconds or whatever to get back in the ring so steve spark did that but by that time the ref seen enough and he disqualified montana love who lost his belt so you could tell steve spark didn't want it to end like that but I mean, you got to blame Montana Love. 
Now, this is a bad look for Eddie Hearn because this was a DAZN and DAZN because this was a DAZN show. And Eddie Hearn, I said, with another bang up job promoting in America, this is the American takeover, baby. These Eddie Hearn shows like you can't put on shows like this. The crowd was booing and throwing stuff. And Eddie got a similar reaction to his event. Danny Jacobs versus Julio Cesar Chavez where Chavez Jr. quit. I mean, you can't control a fighter from doing this, but it seems to happen on Eddie's shows in America where Montana Love fans, they're not treated. You know, just like in Arizona, the crowd was pro Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And then he quit and it's just you got this rambunctious crowd that felt like they didn't even get to see it. One, they didn't the guy that they're rooting for lost. And then two, it ended in a bizarre way. And it's just it's just no fun for anybody. But I got to add in and, and clarify this because people are trying to make it like this outcome was controversial. I said that Montana love fight outcome was not controversial. Eddie Hearns seems like a spoiled rich kid and wants to, quote, protest everything like Connor Ben failing a drug test twice. LOL. Montana love getting DQ'd, etc. Dillian White failing drug test, things like that. But the truth is, it's their own fault. There is no controversy here. I really seen that in this particular fight with Montana Love. It looked like he was looking for a way out. And it's clear that I'm not the only one that felt this because Javante Tank Davis, who sparred with Montana Love, said Montana a, a beezy. He been a beezy. That's what he said. He says that was some, quote, I'm in trouble amateur BS. So he also said that in a now deleted post that he thought that Montana Love was looking for a way out. So anybody who watch it probably seen that. I mean, you can't tell a doctor, oh, I can't see nothing. I, can, I mean, if you tell them, like, you got a guy like your Dennis Ugas, whose eye was completely shattered and battered by Errol Spence Jr., and he protested and wanted to keep continuing the fight. And I'm not saying that's good. I'm just showing you there's levels to the different warrior mentality. I mean, Ugas was in bad, bad shape, and it wasn't just a cut. It looked like his orbital was shattered, and it took a while ugas was bleeding out of his eye profusely and he still wanted to keep fighting a dangerous guy like errol spence where montana love he's fighting this guy that i don't even know who he is really you know i don't even know where this guy came from or anything and the first sign of danger in losing the fight it looked like you found a way out so to me that's a bad look for the tandem you know eddie hearn and Montana Love, look, he got dropped. Boom. He got dropped. You see that. And then Eddie Hearn's trying to, he's like, don't worry about it. He was trying to get Montana Love's team to calm down. And he said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll protest it on Monday. But, I mean, you can't go through your life protesting. The ref made a call, and it really wasn't controversial. You can't use your energy and body weight when the ref is trying to break someone up and then throw them over the, over the top rope whether you think it's theatrics or not. And the another reason it looks bad is because Steve Spark was clearly up and he had the momentum and the energy. And the person that made the desperate move was the guy that should have been behind. I didn't even wait to see the scorecards. But his, it definitely his, his stock has taken a massive hit. He lost his secondary belt. And, you know, Eddie Hearn just recently signed him. So... You know, the whole American takeover is not looking so good, at least in the male division. Eddie Hearn does have Alicia Bumgarner. She fine. And she just won against Michaela Mayer on her card. But as far as the males and the, the big American shows, because that wasn't an Eddie Hearn show, the Alicia Bumgarner fight. So Eddie's not getting it done in America, period. And again, Montana Love, his stock has has definitely dropped. He has the style and people are comparing him to Broner. Oh, see, look, just where he gets flipped out. People were comparing him to Broner and stuff like that. But Broner got heart. Broner don't fight like that. Broner, even when Madonna was hitting him with malicious shots, Broner never gave up. So this this made Montana Love look vulnerable. Now he's no longer a champion as well. If you watch the fight, leave me a comment, subscribe. Let me know how I did the Box of Ego review. A lot of people ask me what I use to create content. Things like YouTube thumbnails that generate thousands of views. For the first time ever, the cat is out of the bag. I use Canva Pro, but Canva Pro 
is so much more than a YouTube thumbnail maker. Use Canva Pro to curate content for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories, and a whole lot more. Flyers, flowcharts, you name it with Canva Pro. Click the affiliate link in the description to get Canva Pro. Many features, elements available to you. Take your brand to the next level. Invest in yourself. It takes money to make money. So sign up for Canva Pro today. Happy creations. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kanichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.